Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am making this cowl for you. Now I am going to New York soon so I am wondering about you know keeping it simple and having a nice warm scarf to wear and so I thought this cowl would be ideal. I have lined it with some fleece oh and it's so warm and snuggly it's really really nice to wear so yeah you can wear it lower down but also a bit higher up to keep you uh, shielded from those cold New York winds <laughs> and there's a nice seam there and the stitch is just so nice and it's so easy to do as well so join me for the tutorial So what do you need for this project? I used two balls of Alisa Berkham Batik. It's 100% acrylic and it's prescribed four to six. So I've, I'm using a four and a half hook to go with this yarn. Um, I only use a little bit of the second ball. So, you know, if you want to make your cowl a little bit higher, then you have enough in the two balls. I then went to my local uh, fabric shop and I found one of these super soft fleeces so I can align my cowl with it and the green goes really well with this green, with these colors. So I thought this would be perfect for that. So let's get started. Okay, so I am going to get started with my slip knot. Insert your hook. And I am going to chain 96 chains. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I will see you when you have your 96 chains. Okay, so I've got my 96 chains. Now for the pattern to work, we are going to add two chains. One, two. And now we are going to do a row of single crochets. So for that row, we need to do one chain. So you do one chain. This chain does not count. So straight away in that 98th chain, you are going to do a single crochet. And you are going to do single crochets all the way back. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's good to get started really well. Okay, so we are going to do single crochets in each chain. You pick up both the loops, there we go, and you do a single crochet. And I will see you when you have done all your single crochets. Okay, so I have done my 98 <laughs> single crochets and I am now going to do three chains up. You turn and now you are going to do your first row and the, the first row is your establishing row because we need to start off the pattern uh, from a normal row of stitches while all the other rows will be from the pattern row so that will be a lot easier okay so we're going to do double crochets here in this first row well we're mainly doing double crochets and we are going to do three double crochets together in the one two three first stitches so that means you yarn over insert into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two then you yarn over you start the next stitch into the next stitch, do the same thing and yarn over into the next stitch. You start your next double crochet, but you don't finish them. Okay, so now you have four loops on your hook. You yarn over and you finish them all. Then you do two chains and now you do another double crochet in the last used stitch here so into that third stitch that you used earlier so this is your little pattern repeat for now so we are going to skip one stitch and we are going to do another three double crochets together 
over the next three stitches. So three times we start a double crochet but we don't finish it properly until we have the four loops on our hook, like so. Then you are going to yarn over and pull through all four, finishing your together and then chain two and then another double crochet into that last stitch that we used. Skip one stitch. A double crochet only half finished in the first three stitches. Yarn over, pull through all three, one, two, yarn over and we do another double crochet into that last stitch there. Okay, and this is what it's looking like. So you do this, skip three all the way. Yeah, together, one, two, and another one there. And you do this all the way to the end. I will see you there. So I am nearly there. I just need to do that last double crochet into that there. Then we skip one, and then I have one left over to do a double crochet in okay just so that you finish your round almost that you finish your line just like you did when you here when you start you also start with a chain um, just to make that side of your shawl okay of your cowl better then you're going to chain three turn and from now on this is what you do okay you yarn over into the chain space do your three double crochets together in there chain two again another double crochet into that chain space and that is your pattern repeat so into the next chain space you do your three double crochets together finish them one two chains and then you finish with your double crochet. See? And it's a really lovely pattern repeat. It's easy to do. You don't have to go into the stitches. You're just going into the chain space and you're doing three double crochets together, two chains and a double crochet. And that is your stitch repeat. And look what a lovely little pattern it makes and when it gets bigger it looks even nicer so that that is how you're going to continue so you're going to go all the way to the end you will notice that you have when you get here you will do your last repeat here and then you do in this here sort of in between that second and the third chain that's where you do that last double crochet you chain up, you turn and off you go again. Okay, so have fun doing this. Oh, oh by the way, you're, um, now you should measure how long your piece of um, cowl is and it should be about 70 centimeters long. Okay, so then when you fold it together, it's um, not very um, big to go around your neck, but not too tight either. So it's going to be nice and snug. <music> Okay, so I have done about 17 um, rows and look how lovely this is working up. I am loving the colours, but not only that, the stitch is just so lovely. Yeah, I'm really liking this. And yeah, look how well it is going to go with um, my lining. So yes, there are some holes in the cowl. But um, if you then put a lining, um, and this lining is nice and dark, so you won't be able to see, you know, there we go, look at that. So I think, yeah, uh, <laughs> I am really pleased with what it's looking at the moment. So I am going to continue, I think, because I've just used one ball. I've now done um, a row and a half or something with another ball. This is where I attached it. There you go. So, yeah, um... 
I don't know I just I'm just gonna make it as tall as I fancy um, and then I will be back to show you how to finish it and how to um, you know crochet the sides together yeah so there is a reason why actually she is my logo uh, within minutes of taking this aside so I can start working on it again she's on the plate she's on the lining <laughs> Layla Layla there we go here we are look at that Miss Cutie Pie yeah always getting in on the action yeah so this is ultra soft and I'm hoping that it's going to be ultra warm as well so there we go Darling, go on, lie down. And look there, my husband brought me some tea and some flapjacks. So, yeah, I'm going to be sitting and crocheting this. <laughs> okay, so I have made it to the end of the row. Uh, here is where I switched to my second ball. So I've done sort of one ball and one two three rows um something like that so in total i've done 18 uh, rows and now i am going to go back all along my long edge with single crochets so let's do that so chain one turn now one pattern repeat takes up four stitches so we need to do let me just show you we need to do four single crochets to make up for that so i'm going to start with one here then in the chain space we are going to do two single crochets then on top of the three together there will be some sort of here where you've pulled them all together that's where i'm going to do a single crochet as well and then one in between the pattern repeat so that makes we've got the one at the side now one two three four on top of my pattern repeat okay so two into the chain space one on top of the togethers and one in between and that is how you are going to continue doing this single crochet and here she is again all along the edge the long edge of your work I will meet you when you're at the corner so I've made it to the corner and here we are going to do a chain and then we are going to start doing the side and you've got these double crochets on the side so I'm going to do two like so two single crochets around the bodies of each double crochet on the side there we go see so I'm going to work my way all the way down to here and then we will attach the other side to it coming up again so watch out for that but yeah keep doing the two double crochets because that's a little bit important for doing the tallying up with the other side in a moment <laughs> To the end here I try to look for that sort of original chain that you did to work your way up but you might not be able to find it but just go into something that you can pick up two bits of and you do your single crochet then you chain then you're going to lay it down like this 
just so that you have an idea of what it's going to look like okay you bring your other end through like so okay so you now have one edge of single crochets done you've done a chain here now you are going to get started on doing and lay it like this as well hold on to your yarn like so on doing your single crochets on this side on these double crochets on the side okay so two in each so that makes that easy but what is not going to be so easy is the following right so we need to find first of all a to do a single crochet in here in that starting edge and again I am just going to try and pick up anything that I can there we go and you do a single crochet now you're going to take out that loop hold on to it or I mean pull up the loop hold on to it take your hook out go back to that last single crochet you did here insert in under the V bring that loop back round your hook and take it through the V there we go okay then you are going to get started on doing those single crochets around those double crochets there so you do your single crochet loop up take your hook out go into the next V that's available on the other side here put your loop through uh, a hook through I mean loop around and bring it through do another single crochet around that same post there and same thing again find the next V to go under and pull that loop through that V now we've done our two now we know we have to go to the next one so you do your single crochet there loop up out into the V and pull it through nope that's yarned over on ya <laughs> so used to doing double crochets okay so you keep doing that all along your line and because you know that you are doing two single crochets around each of these chains or double crochets whatever they were it makes it easy for you to know how many you should be doing and what you should be doing where plus then also you also go to the corresponding one on the other side to to bring your little loop through and this way we are now connecting both our sides and yes it's going to be a visible join um, but I'm quite I want to have that sort of accent almost I like the um, I like the join so I want to use it as an accent feature on the cowl there we go and no yarned over again I keep doing this it's because we're so used to doing the double crochets isn't it so yeah not double crochets this time I am just using single crochets for attaching my cowl together and let me just show you I'll just do another one and let me just show you what it looks like there we go see and I, do you know I quite like that look it's sort of a a, a, a bit different from uh, what uh, it normally looks like when you're crocheting them together it's flat but it's got a lovely ridge there so I'm going to continue with it to the top of my cow and I will see you there okay so I've worked my way all along my edge there attaching both sides I am now here and I just want to make sure that I sort of finish sort of evenly so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find here that sort of V the first stitch so sorry 
I've done my last um, single crochet, my last pull through, and now I'm going to go back to the other side to where we did that first single crochet earlier. Just pulling it through, and I'm doing another single crochet that sort of brings it to the same height almost. Then I go into that next V there on the other side, pull it through again and just into that same V on the other side and I'm just going to do a slip stitch just sort of to finish that sort of, you know, to finish the side and that, yeah, look, that made it nice and even there. So all I'm going to do now is cut off yeah. <laughs> my yarn and I am going to sew in the ends and then of course I'm going to have to put in my lining. Right, so I have finished my cowl. Yes, I am really, really loving the look of it. It is so warm though. I just tried it on indoors and I had to take it off because it was just too warm. So yes, this fleece lining is so soft, snuggly and warm. I am really pleased I put that in. Um, yeah, and I am liking the, um, you know, sort of the feature of the seam. And yeah, so I can't wait to get to the park. Let's get going. If you've enjoyed this video please do consider sharing it with others thank you so very much for watching and i also hope to see you on our facebook group join me there <laughs>